What up, y'all? This is Esco with Up On Game Presents Lost Art, and today we have the pleasure of meeting... Roman 6v3. What's good, Roman? How are you, man? I'm good, dude. Out here in nature, chilling, bro. Good. Hey, man, for the people that don't know you, what's what's your at? Where can people find you? Uh, Roman and then 6IXV3, like on my face tattoo, if you can see it. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. Cool, man. So, fuck, how are you feeling today, man? Nervous, because I'm in front of a camera. And it's I'm all hiding. good, man. Nah, nah, you're all right. We're going to smoke a little later, too. <laughs> so, look, man, just a little something about what Lost Art is. Um, Lost Art was created to bridge a gap for undiscovered artists um, and promote them for what they're already doing, which is working on their art. Like you, you know, you make music, you produce, you engineer, you do what you do. And we don't ask for anything in return. We just want to showcase who you are and occasionally ask you to license your music. So what's something that you wish people knew about Roman? Um, what's something I wish people knew about me? Honestly, how fire the music is. <laughs> Honestly. Okay. Yeah. I like that. What's most important to you and the audience that watches your performance? I feel like audience engagement is the most important because like, if you're at a show and you're going so hard and, you know, everyone's just kind of standing there looking at you, it's kind of like, you know, yeah, what the yeah. fuck am I here for? I don't know. I like to turn up. I like to really go like mm -hmm. Tasmanian devil. So I feel like audience engagement is important. <laughs> How'd you get the name Roman and what is your artist's name and what does it mean? Well, <laughs> my actual birth name is Roman. Mm -hmm. And my name, Roman 6v3, comes from my birthday being in March, you know, third month, mm -hmm. born on the 6th, so, you know, 2 and 2, 6v3, and it just looks cool, instead of being like, what, I don't know. Yeah. It, shit, little submarine in this bitch. So you. Where are you originally from? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, mm -hmm. and, um, look, you can see it on my shirt, but I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. And I grew up in Miami, so, you know, I'm out here in L.A. making a way to out here. Mm -hmm. Dope, man. And what, what high school did you go to? Um, I went to a couple of them, but I guess you could say the most notable one is Rockdale County High School. Where is that? In Atlanta? Yeah, it's, it's in the cut. It's not in Atlanta, but uh, folks from Georgia would know. All right, so <laughs> going into the music, man, what... When, you know, when and at what point did you start taking music seriously? Um, I want to say probably when I was 17. Mm -hmm. um, actually, no, 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 not even 18, because that's when I got a tattoo on my face and I was like, OK, <laughs> like, OK, I don't want to do shit else but music. And I've been low key stuck in that mindset for the last four years yeah. until now. So. Growing up, like when you were growing up, were you like, what kind of kid were you? Were you like a bad kid? No, I was like, you know, the kid who's like, who brings his like iPad it's to awkward. school. Mm -hmm. He's playing Minecraft and shit. Mm -hmm. And I had my DS and I was just like, really like a at home kid, gamer. Okay. Just chilling. What yeah, games yeah. did you play? Man. Which, are you a I, Fortnite kid? No, 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 no. Fortnite's still new. I was more of like an RPG guy. I played like a lot of Pokemon, Kingdom Hearts. Dope. I love that, man. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, what advice do you have for a young dude who wants to get into playing or, you know, making music, but he's intimidated to try, man? What do you tell him? You just got to do that shit, man. Like, at first, people are going to tell you all types of shit like, hey, don't do it, go back to school, get a job, whatever the fuck it may be. But as long as you believe it, you're gonna get it. And you know, just keep dreaming, never stop believing, bro. May's already been off to a crazy start, you know, been off to, in the studio for the last two days. Dope. And the third day I'm doing an interview. So, you know, I really feel like by the time the song drops on the 19th, yeah, summer's gonna be really, summer 6v3, man. Summer 16, we bringing the vibes back, hopefully though. I don't know, Dope. but shit. And we're back. <laughs> we're back, man. So, so Roman, tell me some things that 
you know, you would like to do? What vision do you see when you're older? What's your plan to give back? You know, what, 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 what are some ideas that you have that might affect the future of music? Well, I don't know. I hope in just, you know, by people seeing me like, and not just people, whether it's like teenagers, adults, old people, anyone alike, like I hope just like by through the Roman 6v3 journey and just like experience like people just learn to be themselves, love themselves and just like enjoy the human experience for what it is sometimes, you know, like mm -hmm. recent days I've been taught like, you know, not everything has a meaning and, you know, just enjoy it for what it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I feel like, you know. Mm -hmm. I like that, man. And have you done anything like <clears throat> do you have any JRs or people that you that look up to you? Yeah. What do they tell you about their <laughs> about your music and how does that help them or Well, my protege, uh shout out to Livid. Mhm. Mm um he's a kid back home in Atlanta. Uh mm -hmm. He's always telling me how my music inspires him, but it's like low key kind of hard to believe it because it's like you know, I'm still kind of on my own journey with everything. So it's like, you know, having a kid and, you know, having a kid who's telling you like, bro, like seeing you do your thing and how you move and even working with you in person is just like, it's unbelievable. It's like, it's cool. And it's, but it's like, you know. Yeah. I don't know I like how to that. No, I like it. that. I like that. You have people that look up to you. So look, what's, what, what's your creative process like? Because I know you work fast and you got the talent. What's your main focus right now when you're in the studio and how do you make your songs? Like, where do you start? Personally, where do you start? Lately, I've been freestyling a lot over everything just uh -huh. because I feel like it captures the moment more because if you write it, you're going to overthink it. Mm -hmm. and I feel like, you know, writing is cool if you want to make a song that's going to like last like right. a long time. And I feel like this project that I'm like working on for the summer is something I just want to I want to capture the moment of being back in LA, capture what summer is. I feel like all the music that's been like dropped lately, yeah. it's just, they're trying to create something that's like just yeah. not existing yet, you know? Yeah. Just, I don't know how to describe it. It sounds oh, You're stupid, cool. I mean, you were in the studio <laughs> for two days. What was that like? That was my first time ever doing that, being in the studio back to back two days. It was dope. This engineer that you were in the studio with for the last two days, and how's that? He's actually my artist homie named Hoodie Rob. Mm -hmm. He's really great at engineering, and we've been working on two records. I don't want to speak on them mm -hmm. because I feel like you guys are just going to enjoy them, and I feel like it's just going to bring a, a cultural reset in its own way, if it can. I hope so. Right. So what are you seeing in the music industry right now? Do you see like underground shit coming up? Do you see oh, like what shit. do you see coming up? Like because I see all these kids like we're all rock stars. You on your rock star vibe. We all on rock star vibes. But what do you see in the future for the music coming up now? Man, bro, this is a topic I feel like if you really want it, like, please, like there's hyper pop, there's trap pop, there's like <laughs> there's motherfuckers wearing skirts. There's Oof. there's all types of crazy, you know, stuff going on. What do you think is the wave and what do you see coming up? Because you're, you're a dope artist. I've seen you perform. I've seen the energy you bring. I've seen the music selection. I've seen the beat selection. I've seen the way you gravitate and bring people in. And the sounds are like crazy. But what? So you're one of the kids that are doing this shit. Where do you see music headed from like Lil Uzi and, and Playboy Cardi after that? What's next in your mind? Boy, Uzi and Cardi, they are the, um, in their own right, they are the new, like, I don't even know how to describe it. Uzi and Cardi, like, from the effect of Eternal to Take, and I feel like, you know, Uzi's, like, run through 2016 <coughs> and to now to, like, Cardi's whole lot of red, like, everything. It changed everything, like, and I feel like through Hyper Pop, even Hyper Pop, I'm not going to lie, I'm I feel like everyone has been inspired by Cardi and Uzi in some way. So I feel Definitely. like I feel like in the future, even myself, like Cardi and Uzi are they're they're those guys. So it's like I feel like definitely their influence is still gonna keep taking a chokehold on the game, but 
I feel like right now music is in a quiet place and it, anyone who's just willing to take whatever genre you're in and just stand on, yeah, this is who I am and this is what I make, I feel like you can be him. Roman, what do you want to say to the people back home? All the people. Um, I'm talking about if you could put everyone back home in one bubble. Everybody, good, bad, family, friends. I mean, I'm wearing a shirt that says Atlanta, Georgia on it, so just keep going. I mean, shit, I'm out here in fucking L.A. with these damn mountains and shit, you know. I would have never imagined I'd be here at 21, you know. When I was 16 and high school, I thought I was going to go to school and, you know, finish it, be a game developer, do whatever the fuck, go to college. But, yeah. you know, I dropped out in 11th grade and now I'm here just like living rock star life. I don't really necessarily know where it's going to take me and I'm not really. You I know, know. I know. What's your parents feeling right now? Like your parents supporting the movement because you're safe out here just for the parents back home. Roman's out here <laughs> safe. He's out here on. I see him grinding. Um, you guys would be very proud of him. Um, he's really doing it and really linking with people that's really going to help him out. But what, what do you want to say to people back home that? Aside from the bad people now, like, what you want to tell your friends? Yo, bro, I feel like I'm going to see all of y'all this summer. Like, the way shit's aligning, like, there's no way I came out here to do the show and I just couldn't come back home. Yeah. So it's like, you know, hopefully we're all turning up this summer and hopefully it's just like we can all experience California and, like, you know, to the boys who are really watching this, my real homies, like, y'all know it's time, you feel me? Like, hopefully... All of this shit really comes full circle. Cause you summer. name them. Shit! Shout out, shout out, Hoodie Rob. Shout out, shout out, Hoodie Rob. Shout out, Two Live It. Shout out, Trainer Lyric. There's too many to name, bro. Shout out, Zethos, V Stewie, Slimmy Nice. Like, bro, everybody, bro. Shout out, everybody. Mhm. Mm <sighs> shout out to all my boys in LA. You feel me? Like, we really going crazy. Just really trying to honor. A a potential legacy or something that could be great, I guess, you know? Yeah. Do you miss anyone back home? Um, in a way of like, I wonder if you're safe, miss you, you know? Like, I miss everyone, but yeah, they know I'm okay. I know they're okay. So it's like, I feel like when you miss people, it, in, a, it, in a way, it holds you back if you miss people. So it's like, I miss them in a way of like, I want to see you again, but it's also like, I'll see you later because when I see you again, it's going to be more lit than when I saw you last time. So That's fine. <laughs> Let's get it. You know, it's just that era, man, that era where it's like, you know, it's tough. You got to say your goodbyes, but like, the ones who understand and hold it down, you know, they'll be rewarded later and the people who just you know everything shows itself at the end of the day so that's right. what this journey is for my engineer mayhem back home he's like excuse me my engineer mayhem back home he told me that um you know one of my most recent conversations with him is that he was like you know maybe this might have to just be a solo journey for you and that was like a studio session back in january so it's like you know one of my most recent songs is like, young nigga walking on his own. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about a nigga or his hoe. Like, one reoccurring theme throughout 2020, 2021, 2022, and now is that like, you know, the more I try to integrate people with what I have going on, mm -hmm. unfortunately, it's just like, it, so it's just solo journey, man. I guess I that's love just, that. you know. So you really by yourself out here right now? I wouldn't say by myself. I have a system. I have, yeah, I have a system. I have a really great support system. I'm right glad. Now. So it's like I'm not out here by myself. You know, I can call my mom. Do you have brothers and sisters? I haven't asked you that. Yeah, I actually have two siblings out here, but they're really young, and so. Oh, I, I didn't my, know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. How how young? If you don't mind me asking. Um. Mhm. Mm how young? I can't even remember. I think one's like five, mm -hmm. one's like seven. Yeah. Hey, shout out to them, man. Yeah, shout out I to I really the appreciate kids. you coming out to chill with us. Is there any advice you want to give people in general coming out here as an artist? Just focus on you. 
And I don't know, I don't feel like a lot of artists, you know, even knowing that their artist homies would watch this, would say this, but you know, just focus on you, man. And this is me just saying this as an, just seeing people like, you know, Juice, Peep, X, you know, trying to help so many people is cool. It's cool to have your homies up, but you know, at the end of the day, when opportunities come your way, they're for you for a reason, you know, they weren't presented to everyone for a reason. So, you know, don't squander your opportunities trying to bring everyone up with you, especially in a city like LA, mm. because everyone will, you know, everyone's gonna be quick to, but when it's all gone, they're all gone. So it's like, you wait, know, what's to me? Just take, bro. Just like, take. Energetically, just take. This, okay. is a, this is a dark Ladies city. and gentlemen, this is a 21 year old. Shit. <laughs> what they take here, bro, man? They bro, take opportunities. They'll take your opportunities. They'll take your money, bro. Like, oh, shit. I just feel like in due time, something's going to happen. Not with just me, but just someone from the underground is going to come out and just like change everything. I don't feel like we've had that just yet. Yeah. But I feel like someone's going to do it. And it's weird to You think he's going to be someone we know? I don't know. It could be anybody, bro. It really could be anybody. Like, you can't say who the internet's going to choose. You could do anything. Like, even me doing this interview right now doesn't guarantee anything. No bullshit. Like, the internet chooses whoever, bro. To be honest, it could, we could get another fucking, like... Yeah, like, bro, it's like when Maddox came up, bro, like... There could be another kid who's just like super young, super fire, and then boom, like he's going crazy. It could be anybody, bro. I'm just really excited to see it because I feel like it needs to happen ASAP. What else do you want to mention? I know you say you have some other shit on your mind. Shit, man. Yeah. Um. Because is this an interview or is this a documentary? We're just talking. Cool, cool. It could be the, uh... It's everything. The everything, man. And this is not even to the people watching back home. Now we're turning the camera off. Now just imagine yourself being here with Esco and I and just walking the trail, almost if, like, you're typing it on YouTube, like, peaceful audiobook or some shit. Right. So it's like... I don't know, man. It's really crazy to just see how everything is playing out, even just from like meeting you a couple of months ago. Cause like, I, I remember us speaking, or I think I spoke with your brother. Cause has he gone to some of the shows, right? Mm, he has, he yeah. saw you perform. So I remember speaking with one of you guys about this exact thing and I was so super hyped to hear about it. And then like, as I was in Atlanta, I was seeing everyone's interviews and I was like, damn dude, like that'll be so now dope we're to here. do. Yeah. In, in such Yours a is crazy. Place. You're on. We on the mountains. We on the fucking mountains, dude. My man, Roman's on the mountains. Shout out everyone, bro. Like, Look, there's nothing out here. Like, for the people watching, this is just my tripod. This setting is a representation of my mental state. For the interview, I had to clear everything. That's good. I fuck with that. Any last words, Roman? Keep dreaming and never stop believing. I fuck with that, man. Thanks, Roman. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's Roman. Y'all can find him. Follow him. Do what he, do what you got to do, man. It's a good dude. Support. Let's get it. Roman Up on game, baby. Let's go. <laughs>